three major positions in G. The first position, if a lot of you have been watching my video, your videos, you're familiar with it. It's uh, the major scale, it's the Ionian. Um, it's common, uh, it's a good scale to transpose as well, especially when you're first starting out. Okay, you can check out my other videos on open major and minor scales, but if you're gonna learn a major scale, this is the one that you wanna learn because you can play it virtually everywhere. You can even play it not only on the sixth string, but on the fifth string as well. So we start with this particular scale <clears throat> on the sixth string fifth fret with your second and fourth fingers, okay? Your fourth finger moving to the fifth fret sixth string. And if you're new, you can down pick, but eventually it's good to alternate your picking down, up, because you'll be able to tell the difference. I will alternate the picking, but you're gonna see primarily my fret hand, okay, which is the technique hand. Here we go, sixth string, third fret. Fifth fret. Move up to the A string, second, third, and fifth frets with your first, second, and fourth fingers. Move up to the fourth string, second, fourth, and fifth frets with your first, third, and fourth fingers. Move up to the third string, the exact same thing that you just played on the, on the fourth string. Second, fourth, fifth frets with your first, third, and fourth fingers. Second string is gonna be just like the sixth string where you're playing just the third and fifth frets with your second and fourth fingers. And finally, you're gonna play the second and third frets on the first string with your first and second fingers. Okay, it's got about two scales in it, all right? So there's a lot of notes in it. It just doesn't have, you know, your regular major scale it has eight notes, seven different notes. This has seven different notes in it. By the way, it has one sharp, which is F sharp. This is referred to as position one in some circles, okay? So there's different ways that you can call some, some of these scales E form type one, type two, uh, G form, A form, C form. Uh, of the, they call them the basic five major positions, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go over the first three. That's the first one. All right, the second position, this one's gonna start on the um, fourth string. But before I get into that, I wanna have you screenshot The first one is right here. See the frets and the fingering? Make a screenshot of that. If you're new, you can just use all down picks. If you're, you know, past the beginning stage, you want to, you want to be able to alternate your picking and go up and down, ascending and descending. All right, so might as well screenshot the second position too. Right, this one is a little less known, but you're gonna know it now. And it does start <clears throat> with your first finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. Move up, let me play it for you first. I don't know if you can see this, so I'm gonna do that again. So let me go back with my fourth and second finger, which you can do if you're more comfortable, or with your third and first finger. So you're starting with your first and third fingers on the fourth string, fifth fret, move up to the seventh fret, go up to the G string, the third string, on the fourth fret with your first finger, play the fifth fret with your second finger, play the fourth fret with your fourth finger, move up to the second string, fifth fret with your first finger, and play one, a one, three, four fingering, okay? Which is the fifth, seventh, and eighth frets with your first, third, and fourth finger. D 
do the exact same thing on the first string, fifth, seventh, eighth frets with your first, third, and fourth fingers. So, so far we, we have Then you're gonna go backwards. Second or fourth finger or your <clears throat> third and first. So let me show you another screenshot of that. Look at position two. That's that's great, that's a great scale, different way of looking at it. So we're playing it. In the second position, G major, once again, with one sharp, F sharp. People get confused, well, how do I remember? Well, if you can remember C having no sharps or flats, you're gonna go almost in the circle of fifths. So from C, I haven't played over 40 years, so if you still gotta count with your fingers, that's fine. This is C, D, E, F, G. So it's five notes away, including C. C, D, E, F, G. G only has one sharp. How do you remember the sharp? Well, just think about the alphabet. What letter comes before G in the alphabet? You got it, F, so it's F sharp. And then if you wanted to go G, A, B, C, D, that's gonna have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, because C comes before the G, A, B, C, D, the D. And that's just the uh, circle of fifths. You might know that if you don't know that and it seems like it's confusing, don't worry about it right now. Or you can check out some of my other videos and it'll give you a better um, understanding. So finally, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about <clears throat> position three. Um, position three, okay, that starts with your fourth finger. So you, you've, Position one starts with your second finger. Position two starts with your first mm. finger. Now, I remember when I first started playing, starting with my fourth finger was, was hard. And some exercises that you can do to get strength in and accuracy as a chromatic scale. You can start anywhere and just play the next frets in progression. Start on any string and just play one, two, three, four. Follow each fret. Go forward and backward. Forwards and backwards. But here's position three in G major. Starts on the 10th fret, fifth string. Sorry about that little mistake, but, you know, um, this is run that's used a lot in this position, okay? Because when you get over here, you know, between the 5th and 12th or 15th, 17th, 20th frets, it's, easy, it's easier to bend. So let's show you the position three. Take a screenshot of that. Been doing this for a couple months, and I'm working on getting better technology. So thank you for your patience. But that's position three. In another video, I'm gonna show you position four and five, but doing five positions in one video, that's just overwhelming. That's just way too much information in my estimation. So that's position three, G major. All three of these positions are once again in G major, one sharp. So, <clears throat> fourth fret, fourth finger rather, fifth string, 10th fret. Move up to the fourth string, seventh, ninth, and tenth frets, playing your first, third, and fourth fingers. Start from the beginning. One, four, one, three, four. Move up <coughs> to the G string. On the seventh fret, with your first finger. Ninth fret, with your third finger. Move up to the second string. Seventh, first finger. Eighth fret, second finger. Tenth fret, fourth finger. First string, seventh and eighth frets with your first and second finger, and then tenth fret with your fourth finger. So from the beginning, it's four, one, three, four, one, three, one, two, four, four chain strings, one, three, four, chain strings, one, three. 
Chain strings, one, two, four. Chain strings, one, two, four. Okay, and you go backwards. All right, and second finger's on the eighth fret. First finger on the second, uh, seventh fret. Second string, 10th fret, fourth finger. Eighth fret, second finger, seventh fret, first finger. Move to the third string, ninth fret, third finger. Seventh fret, first finger. Then we're gonna move to the fourth string on the 10th fret with your fourth finger. Ninth fret, third finger, seventh fret, first finger. Back on that G, which we began with. This is, this is the root of your scale. And that, of course, is the fifth string, 10th fret. So practice these, transpose them, you know, like I'm in G, like in the first position, go up to the A and just memorize that fingering. <clears throat> and it's not gonna happen in one day, it's not gonna happen in a week, but you're gonna get this within a few weeks, a few months, it's well worth it. Hope you enjoyed this video if you had. Please, uh, or have, please like and subscribe. Have fun.